After waiting more than 100 days, graduates, 2020 graduates at Southern Utah University are finally getting that graduation ceremony. And our own Ali Monson is in Cedar City with details on that big event that is taking place tomorrow. Hi, Ali. Hi, Nish. You know, everyone deserves their big moment, right? And these 2020 graduates have been so patient up to this point right now. We are on the upper quad of campus, which is where all the action is going to be taking place tomorrow. Preparations now underway. I'm with Mindy Benson, who is in charge of it all. And this is such a big undertaking. What has it taken, Mindy, to get everybody to this point? It is a massive undertaking and it's taken months of preparation by a team that is so large, it includes all of campus, really coming together to make this happen. How did you make the decision to say yes, let's do this? It has been a tough decision and we're still, should it be yes? We are going forward. Our students have shown us that they want this and it, it was them we went to in March and said, do you want a virtual commencement or do you want a postponed commencement? And they all very loudly said, we want it live. We want to be able to walk through that bell tower and we want to celebrate with oh, our friends and family. It's such a big moment. Everyone dreams of that it's moment. It's the culmination they've worked so hard for yes. and they need the iconic shots and the experience. And I so. love that y'all listened to them. You said, we okay, well then that's what we're going to do. Um, obviously it's going to be a little bit different than a normal graduation ceremony. What should we expect to be seeing happening? We are following all state protocols and guidelines. So everyone will be in, in masks. The graduates will surprise them tomorrow with red SUU masks to match that. their black robes. <laughs> it will be fun to have that. All guests and graduates are required to wear masks. There will be social distancing. We're having it outside for the first time since the late 80s. It's been inside in our arena and we're, we moved it outside to the upper quad so it complies with safety guidelines yes. and there's more availability of space. You can feel the energy just buzzing here on campus. I know people setting up and so much to do still, um, but I want to also look ahead a little bit because your enrollment numbers are up of all times to be growing. We it's are up. Incredible. What can we expect for fall? We're so excited to welcome students back in the fall and everything will be safe. Uh, we have about 65% of our classes face to face. So students have the option of being here face to face. They also have the option of going online if they don't, if they feel like they've been exposed or they feel not safe that day or are feeling sick. We are asking students to stay home. Every class will be broadcast live with a camera in the classroom. So they will be able to see and be part of the class still, but watch it from home. And then students still have the opportunity to be online or hybrid. So they have the choice, faculty has the choice, and we want to be face to face as much as we can and provide that experience for I students. I love that you're giving students so many options. Lots to choose of options, from. and they'll all have T bird safe. masks. It yes. will just be a fun, different, but all of this has been different. Yes. So. so, Mindy, we have just a few moments left, and I want to just mention a huge draw for fall as well is this three year bachelor's degree program. Absolutely. This is the first time, right? It is. It launched in the spring. This is the first time that it will be the full class. We've had a number of people take advantage of it this summer. Our summer enrollments were up because of that and our fall enrollments continue to rise. It's a great way to get your degree done quickly and move through and be out in the workforce. And that's oh, what we're doing for our students. I wish it was around when I was in college. Innovation on I behalf of say. our students. That's yes, what we're doing. Yes, yes. All right, everyone, for more on all the great programs here at SUU, go to suu.edu. But we appreciate you being here. Thank you, Mindy. Thanks for the opportunity. Thanks Absolutely. for being here. Absolutely. And Nish, I know so many things to think about for these incoming freshman conversations you've been having at your house as well. Definitely having at my house. In fact, I'm sending one of mine south to southern Utah. Allie Life for us in Cedar City. Thank you so much. When we come back and update on that fire.